everyone welcome back to another guitar lesson at let's play guitar today i'm going to show you how to play the man who can't be moved by the script okay to play this song you need a capo on the third fret you can also play it without the capo but i thought going with the capo version because the intro uh, you know becomes a little easy after putting the capo and also you can avoid a lot of power cards so this is kind of like the simplified version but it sounds exactly the same as a record okay let's get into the intro of the song we're also going to be playing this for the verse and for the next verse, you know, so. The first chord is around G. So to play that, you need third fret on the top string, second fret on the fifth string, and open on the third string. So you play the top string, you play the fifth string, then you play the third string open and you do it twice so string number six five three and six five three okay two times and then you play six five just in the end just play string number six and five so you get this all in all then you move to this chord here only difference is that instead of third fret on the top string you're now on the second fret of the top string everything else will remain the same you're gonna pick the same strings and this finger is also on the same second fret of the fifth string so from the beginning Now you come over here, you need 3rd fret on the 5th string, you need 5th fret on the 4th string, you need 2nd fret on the 3rd string. So you're gonna play strings number 5, 4, 3, then 5, 4, 2, and string number 2 is open, okay, so you get, and in the end, can again play string number five and four so then you come back over here now this riff also goes for the verse when he starts singing going back to the So you just keep playing this for the verse but when the drums come in uh, you can start playing the chords as well and it's much easier to sing along with the chords so I've shown you how to play the riff now I'm gonna show you how to play the chords that go along with the verse and the drums come in on this part so try to Start out with G major. So for that, third fret top string, second fret fifth string, open, open, third fret, third fret. Let me just show you how to play the chords quickly, and then we're gonna go into the strum pattern. The next chord is D or F sharp. So you need second fret on the top string. Okay, you can do that with your thumb. Open, open. 2nd fret, 3rd fret and 2nd fret again okay now you don't need this this is not necessary if you're a beginner and if you really can't do that so just leave it out just go on D major you know but it's nice if you can do that because you need that note over there the next chord is A minor so quickly open on the 5th string 2nd fret, 2nd fret, 1st fret open again and then come to C major just put your ring finger to the 3rd fret on the 5th string Okay, now let's go into the strum pattern. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, we can break that down. Down, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, just learn that first. Down, down, up, down, up, down. And then in the end, you can throw another up, down, up. That makes your complete strum pattern. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. 
come to D over F sharp, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Come to A minor, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, C. Just repeat it again. I know it makes no sense, but what else can I do? How can I move on my way? And then you go to the chorus of the song. And the chorus has two parts in it. The first part begins like this. Cause if one day you wake up and find that you're missing me And your heart starts to wander around yourself I can be Then you can maybe come back to the place that we need And I see me ready for you on the corner of the street And then you go to the next part of the chorus I'm not we're gonna learn that later. So for now, you begin the chorus on G major and the same strum pattern. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now in the chorus, make sure you go towards the lower string as well, okay? Because we need that sound, the complete rhythm. So down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Come to D major, so you don't need this one. It's a normal D major chord. Down, down, up, down, up, down. So don't play the top string over there, right? And come to A minor, you know how to play it. Open, second fret, second fret, first fret. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Bring your ring finger over here and play the C major. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Repeat again. Thinking maybe come back to the place where we part of the chorus where you start going to G major again and I'm not moving D major down down up down up down up down up moving A minor down 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 up down up C right then you come to the next verse of the song where you can again play this riff Or you can play the chords G major to D over F sharp and then A minor to C so we've covered that already then you move to the chorus again just like before you know how to play it both the parts the first and second parts to the chorus and then you come to the bridge of the song or you can call that the interlude of the song now the bridge goes like this we start on E minor Next part of the bridge. Maybe our good friend is a man who can be moved. Maybe you'll meet him. But you'll see me on the nose. And you're running through the corner. But you know it's just for you. The man who can be moved. Okay, so it's a long bridge over there so let's go into the beginning of the bridge you come to E minor so for that you need top string open second and second frets on the fifth and fourth strings okay then come to C and then come to D then come to C again the strum pattern will remain the same down down up down up down up down up come to C down down up down up down up down up D major C major down down up down up down up down up repeat again down down up down up down up down up down down up down up down up down up down down up down up down down up down down up down up down up down now for the next part of the bridge you again begin with C major maybe he will get maybe I'll get famous from those lines come to C major down down up down up down up down up D then come 
to see you again, you come running to the corner. Stay on C major. Okay, so you're gonna do C major twice over there. You come down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up again. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now you come to A minor. And you stay on A minor for a bit. Down, down, up, down, and the man who can be. Three. Four. So you see, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, four times on A minor. Okay, so let's come to the next part of the bridge once again, the second part of the bridge. Maybe I'll get famous. Start on C major, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, D. C major again. D again. C again. Four times on A minor. Then you come to the chorus of the song again. Cause if one day you wake up and find the world missing me, the same chorus, the whole thing. Um, you can also play open on the second string on G major. Okay, so that's another option. Then you go to the next part of the chorus. I'm not moving. Just repeat that again. to the outro of the song the ending of the song is the first two lines of the song going back to corner where you can just strum all chords just once g major back to corner when i first saw you dear f sharp a minor gonna camp in a sleeping bag i'm not gonna move and you end the song over there or what you can also do is play your riff which is actually being played in the song during the very end this riff is being played going back to the corner where I first saw you okay that's how you end the song you can end it on on the second string okay so I hope you like the listen we've covered all the main parts of the song we've got the intro, the verse, the different strum patterns, and also the chorus and the bridge. So if you like to listen, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate all of your support. And if you're new to my channel, then make sure you subscribe because I post new lessons every day for you guys. And um, if you haven't already, make sure to check out other videos of mine. Uh, you'll find tons of lessons, songs that you love, and you can learn how to play it from me. So I'll see you guys with another video. Till then, Goodbye and take care.